Today we'll be showing the proper installation of the valve train on a 1.3 liter Suzuki Samurai engine. The parts we will need are the camshaft, rocker shafts, rockers, rocker springs, rocker shaft screws, distributor housing and bolts, the front cam seal, and the distributor housing o-ring. The supplies needed are assembly lube, blue thread locker, and anti-seize compound. The tools we will need are a torque wrench with a 4 mm Allen socket, a 4 mm Allen T-handle, a nut driver with a 10 mm socket, and an additional 10 mm socket to fit the torque wrench. Additionally, we'll need a little bit of water to help the installation of the camshaft seal. Begin by installing the front camshaft seal. Wet the outside of the seal with water. Press the seal evenly into place. It may need to be driven into place with a socket and a soft hammer. Next, apply assembly lube to all five cam bearings. This is done best by letting it run through the rocker shaft screw holes. Evenly distribute the assembly lube on each bearing surface using your finger. Locate the front of the camshaft. The front is identified by the end opposite the distributor gear. Apply assembly lube to the first cam journal. Then begin installing the camshaft from the rear of the engine. Take extra care here so as not to damage the cam bearings. Apply assembly lube to all other cam journals as the camshaft is being installed. Use caution when installing the camshaft through the front seal. Do not use excessive force or the seal could be pushed out of position. Now apply assembly lube to all eight camshaft lobes. Next install the exhaust rocker shaft. The exhaust rocker shaft has only one notch on the end of it. The intake rocker shaft has two notches on the end of it. That single notch is oriented toward the rear of the engine on the exhaust side. The exhaust side of the head is identified by the side of the head that has the square ports and the spark plug holes. The rockers will be easier to install if you loosen the lock nuts and unthread the adjusters on all eight rockers. Apply assembly lube to one of the rockers. It doesn't matter which one you select because all the rockers are interchangeable. Place the rocker in its proper position with the flat part against the camshaft and the adjuster on the valve. While holding it in position, feed the rocker shaft through it. Then position the spring and continue feeding the rocker shaft through. Continue this procedure on all the remaining exhaust rockers and springs. Be sure to apply plenty of assembly lube to the rocker shaft as it's being installed. Once all the rockers and springs have been installed, align the screw holes in the head with the holes in the rocker shaft. To make things easier to show, we're going to rotate the entire engine. Now install the intake rocker shaft. The intake rocker shaft is identified by two notches on the end of it. 
The end with the two notches is oriented toward the front of the engine. The intake rockers and springs are installed in the exact same way as the exhaust rockers and springs. After all the intake rockers and springs have been installed, install the rocker shaft screws. To ensure they stay in place, apply some blue thread locker to the threads. Notice the screws being used here are an upgraded aftermarket screw that can be purchased through our website. The tool required for these screws is an Allen wrench. If you're using OEM screws, you'll need to use a Phillips screwdriver or socket. Once all the rocker shaft screws are in place, snug them down with a 4mm Allen T-handle. Once all the screws are snug, torque them to 8 foot-pounds. The next step is to install the distributor housing. Wipe the head clean with a cloth. Position the O-ring on the distributor housing. Apply a small amount of anti-seize compound to keep the O-ring in place while being installed. Position the distributor housing on the cylinder head and install the three bolts. Snug the three bolts with a 10 mm nut driver. Torque the three bolts in a progressively tighter crisscross pattern until 8 foot pounds is reached. That concludes today's presentation. We hope it has been helpful. We remind you that all the parts and supplies required for this job can be purchased through our website at www.lowrangeoffroad.com or by calling 801-805-6644.